Okay, so I think my favorite show to watch over and over and over again is Orange is the New Black. If you haven't seen Weeds or Orange is the New Black, you can sit with us. First of all, I think this is the best show of all the Netflix shows because it is so hilarious. Every single episode, every single moment of every single episode, every conversation, every scene is so hilarious. All the characters are all have their own little sense of humor and you can really easily recognize the personality of the character, how they see the world their stances on their moral choices or their or how close-minded and open-minded they are through their humor and you can also tell like if every character agrees with other characters because they all kind of tease each other for being racist sometimes or for uh, being prejudiced against like lesbians for example it's like a big theme in the series like with Pencil Tucky being all like <laughs> the, the lesbians are gonna take over the world it is so hilarious Ah, and that's what I used to miss about Weeds, that it was so hilarious of the first few seasons. <sighs> but anyway, this is not the video for Weeds. I don't know about you, but I have personally chosen Netflix as my personal savior, and I just have to thank it for Orange is the New Black, because it's so hilarious. I think in my personal characters for the first time is not the protagonist like i'm kind of tired of piper but like the first season was so focused on her and her story with piper and that i got so annoyed with that and it was so awesome to see that in the second season it's so much about all the women all the other characters and just i love the flashbacks that show their life and how they got to the point in which they are and i love that we still don't know two seasons into it we still don't know why all the characters are where they are at and it's so awesome when you finally get that insight into a more complete, like, a more complete mind state that the character must be in. Like, for example, in season two, we saw that with Susan a lot with Crazy Eyes. Now we feel so much empathy for her because we know she's been hurt through her life so much because she is crazy. So we still don't entirely know, but she, we know she's coming from such a good hearted place even when she does bad things and I just love Genji for writing so many flawed characters that you can love and just appreciate for who they are and that they're proud to be weirdos I love that I love Genji's characters and I have so much high hopes for this show because I loved weeds and it's like I think it's even better than weeds in a different way and even though technically this show takes place in one little you know in in one setting that's the prison and that doesn't really allow for much like a big things to happen the writers still manage to keep you there because of the suspense and you still have the feeling that these characters might be might die anytime soon or you know even if you're not even if they're not dying like it gets your heart racing because the suspense is just really well put together in that setting especially when they bring B during season two Crazy Eyes is definitely one of my favorite characters. I don't know if it, I don't even know if I have a favorite. I think if I had to choose a favorite, I would choose Nikki. Like, um, because I think like her, I might go to humor when you're in odd situations or uncomfortable situations, you go to humor to kind of get yourself out of that. So I think I would go with her, but I don't think I'm like any of them. <laughs> I think I'm like a lot of them all at once. That's it. I just have like a lot of characters that I really like. Like Tasty is so hilarious. Always. Like she's just like a ray of sunshine in the show. She's so funny and she makes you feel so good. And you just get this energy that she's a really good hearted person. Like in real life, not as a, only a character, but like, I don't know, you just get the sense that she's like happy and brings this good energy to you. Piper is like, alright, like I think it's hilarious that they call her college. I like that she's toughening up in the second season more. She was getting a little boring, I never really connected with her as a character, like, that's me, like, eh. <laughs> Pensatucky is one of my favorites, she is so hilarious. She kind of like calmed down in season 2 because she came from the psych ward so many times or from solitary, I don't know, or both of them that she just kind of calmed down like you can tell it really affected her, her mind to be in those places which is so hilarious and I'm glad that she got new teeth and that she can smile <laughs> 
Oh, I love Pensatucky. Um, of course we have to mention Sophia. I love her. She's so hilarious. And I know I just keep saying that it's just so hilarious. It's just so hilarious. Like I love watching this show because it just feels so good to watch it. Like even though there's so much suspense and so many touching moments, there's just this level of positivity around it. I can't, I can't explain it. You always get that sense from Genji's shows. Like it's all, it's all to laugh at our lives. And of course, Red, I cried during her episode. It was one of the very first ones. And I just, of all the background stories that you see, it was the one that I could put myself most, like, it was the one that I could empathize the most with. Like, I could imagine feeling excluded from other groups and that driving her to do something angry. Like, that's never happened to me, but I could put myself in that situation as opposed to all the other situations and I don't know why, it was one of, one of the very first episodes and like really hit me and then I named my car after her <laughs> red because <laughs> I have a red car though I love how season 2 ended, like that bitch needed to go I hated V, I hated, I love her hair, I'm trying to get her hairstyle going on like long in the front, short in the back. So right now I'm in like a, a weird middle, but I'm trying to get the V haircut because it, it looks cool even though she was a bitch. And I'm glad she got ran over by a truck. With the lady that had cancer escaping from prison in a place of glory, like awesome. But yeah, I'm not ready to say whether I like oranges and you like a lot better than weeds. Like I'm not there yet. I can't really, I can't even really start to think of what that means. But it's definitely like my favorite show to binge watch, which really just means you're watching more than one episode, which is really what just everyone did before Netflix had a way to track it and say that everyone is doing it. Whatever, whatever. If you don't watch it, and anyway, this is not sponsored by Netflix. I just like Netflix. That's the only thing I pay for when it comes to TV. I have everything else online. But yeah, anyway, let me know what you think of Orange is the New Black. I hate that everybody abbreviates an oint. Like, um, have you seen oint on Twitter? Like, no. Oint is, is the stupidest abbreviation. I don't know how that ever happened. I don't know how that got, became a thing. But yeah, this video goes out to all the girls that are still waiting for the sequel to The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo to be made. And all the girls that have Orange is the New Black and Orphan Black to thank for giving us awesome female leads.